Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. I am Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to Mosaic Monday. Today we are working on this solid heart design. This is from a Blacks from the Past pattern. It was originally released a little more than a year and a half ago and that was the Mosaic Hearts pattern and we did at that time a tutorial for the outline heart. So it's this one right here. Today we are going to be working on the solid heart which is in the same chart set and it is in the same exact multiple. So you will be able to use today's tutorial and the tutorial from over a year and a half ago together in one project and I do go over at the end of this video on what rows and how you go about doing that. So we are going to talk about our sample and then a few other points and jump right into getting started on our tutorial. First and foremost, the crochet hook that I am using is linked down in the description. I'm not affiliated or sponsored, so if you're looking for this, it's down in the description, along with a lot of other extra information. There are project ideas, links to helpful tutorials that will help you mix different multiples together in a project. All kinds of project ideas are down there, and of course a link to the Etsy shop for those who prefer the chart set. To work with you do not need it but I link the Etsy shop down below I of course take you through the entire pattern in my tutorial so you never need to buy anything you will also find down in the description row start times to help you move through this pattern and for those of you who are interested in what the backside looks like we're going to flip this over we have stripes but because this pattern is heavy on the double crochets you do get a lot of these little pockets is what some people call them little gappy parts and you can eliminate those by doing an anchor double crochet a link to that video by another creator is always down there in my description so you can check that out if you do not like the back side otherwise we are going to jump right on in so grab at least two colors of yarn your favorite crochet hook and by the way the colors of yarn that I am using in this tutorial and on the sample are listed down below in that description as well. So always check out my description. And let's get started. We begin by chaining in color A in the multiple of 16 over and over as many times as you would like. If you are going to work flat, you are going to add four chains to the end of your chain count. If you are going to work in the round, you are simply just going to chain in the multiple of 16 over and over, and then you will be doing a slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring, and then begin working the repeats given in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. For those of us who are going to be working flat like me, we're going to chain out, I have chained for my sample, a total of 36 chains. So that's two multiples of 16 for 32 chains. Then I've added four chains to the end of that count, bringing me up to 36 total starting chains. Row one is going to begin now. If you're not ready, just pause the video and meet back up with me. For row one, we are going to be skipping the first chain from our hook and we're going to move into the second chain doing a traditional single crochet. So we go into that second chain, completely in the stitch under the V, and now we just grab our yarn, pull up a loop, and grab and pull through normal, just like normal. That's all we're doing. Now we're going to be working a back loop only single crochet in all of our stitches except for the very last stitch of the row. So to work your back loop only single crochet, you just insert into this back loop, picking up one side of the stitch, so no V this time, and single crochet just like normal from there. So you're going to work on down your row, working one back loop only single crochet in each and every stitch. For the rest of the tutorial, I will be referring to these just as single crochets, and you will know that when you are working your repeat stitches, all single crochets are always worked by picking up the back loop only. So we'll be back in just a moment to do the row end together. We 
We are now here at the end of row number one. You will find that you have one stitch left at the end of your row. This stitch must always be worked as a traditional single crochet. So traditional means going under the V completely into the stitch. And we single crochet. And now we're going to be binding off. Since we are at the end of the row, you will be binding off and changing colors. Every row we work in a two color sequence. So we need to bind off now, chain up two, clip your yarn, and cinch that down. So once we've done our bind off, we now can take a look. We have this going on, not too much. It will curl sometimes. This will relax out as we build up our work. We're now going to return to the start of the row. So at the beginning of each row, you're going to have to make sure that you're getting into the first stitch. On row one, since we have this turning chain that we needed in order to chain and then turn and begin row one, we need to scoot that down out of the way. So it is not going to be tempting for us to work into. So I've scooted it down. Your first stitch of the row will never move. You can't scoot it down. So now we know this is our first stitch and we want to go in completely into the stitch, making sure we're into the V. Now you are going to grab color B. And for color B, I'm going to be using this pale pink. You just simply add color B onto your hook. Now you need to pull up that loop and you are going to grab the tail and working yarn and chain one. We now go back into the same exact first stitch. And at this point, we can allow the tail to fall and we finish out our traditional single crochet. So we pull up our loop and then we grab and pull through all those little loops that are on our hook. That's how you will be joining on at the beginning of every single row. So we can tighten that down a little bit by pulling on the tail. And now we need to begin our repeat for row number two, which is exactly like row number one. We're working a single crochet in every stitch. And just remember when you're working your repeat, you're always working in the back loop only. So we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch. And we are going to do a traditional single crochet in the final stitch of the row. And then we will be meeting up for row number three, where we're going to actually start seeing our pattern emerge. So we will be back in just a moment. Row number three begins now, and we are working in color A. Row number three's repeat begins with eight double crochets. I'm going to show you how we're going to work all double crochets throughout this pattern and really any of my mosaic patterns because this is how you do a mosaic double crochet or a drop down double crochet. So you are going to wrap your hook around or your yarn around your hook and then we identify the very next stitch. And now we slide directly down Two rows below, picking up this front loop that we left from doing back loop only single crochets. We now grab our yarn and pull up our loop, grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. So that is how we do all double crochets. When you fold this double crochet back, you can see that there is one stitch taken up here on the previous row. When we put this in place, that's how we know that this is our very next stitch. So we want to make sure that each double crochet takes up one stitch on the row back here. So we're going to continue working our double crochets. We have seven more to go. So on to the next. Two. three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, and number eight. Our repeat continues with one single crochet. Make sure that you have your position correct. Fold this back and check and make sure you know exactly where your next stitch is. If you get off here, if you work two stitches in, your count will be off. Your pattern will end up even. So right here is where our next stitch is. I'm going to work the one single crochet. And then we end the repeat by working seven double crochets over these next seven stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and last but not least, number seven. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number three's repeat began with eight double crochets one single crochet, and we end with seven double crochets. The number one thing that people do that gets their count off besides going into this wrong stitch is they want to automatically add another stitch here and end with eight because we began with eight. Do not do that. The repeat is eight double crochets, one single crochet, seven double crochets. Trust me and just work the repeat exactly as I'm giving it to you. Make sure if you're writing it down, eight, one, seven. So I'm going to work the repeat again with you for those who are new, but if you're not new, you guys already should know. Just hop ahead and move on to row number four whenever you're ready. For the rest of us, we are now going to work row three's repeat again. So this is how you continue working down your row. So I have ended my repeat with seven double crochets. So I begin the repeat by working eight double crochets. So I just begin immediately, making sure I go into the very next stitch. There's one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. Now we continue our repeat with one single crochet, and we end with seven double crochets. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. So that ended our repeat for a second time. So let's take a look at our work. So here where we ended the repeat with seven and then began again with eight, we have a total of 15 double crochets in this section. That is correct. So as you move and keep working your next pattern on the row, you are gonna have these long sections where the pattern ends and starts again and that's where these 15 double crochets are going to be. So a cheater method for this row, as you're working on down, is you would do 15 double crochets, one single. 15 doubles, one single. The true repeat is 8 double crochets, 1 single crochet, 7 double crochets. So now we are here at the row end. And you're going to notice that all of your row ends we'll have two stitches left, one and two. So to handle this next stitch, we are going to restart our repeat for one stitch, and then we already learned we do a traditional single crochet in the final stitch of the row. So we're going to wrap our yarn because our repeat begins with a double crochet for row three. So we're doing a double crochet, in the very next stitch, and then we will end by doing one traditional single crochet in the final stitch of our row. Make sure when you are finishing off your row, you don't go extremely tight when you are doing your final traditional single crochet. If you do that, it will kind of pull your work in and you'll start to have kind of a wonky, uneven edge here at the end of your work. So I always make sure that I'm kind of matching tension with the previous row because I tend to be one that tightens down way too much at the end of the row. <laughs> that's 100% that's me. I do that. <laughs> so now we just clip and bind off. And we're done. So the next row, whatever your row repeat begins with is what you work in the second to last stitch. And then you do a traditional single crochet in that final stitch of the row. And that is how we work all of our row ends. Now doing that means that we now have eight double crochets at the end of this row, which is exactly what we have over here at the start of the row. So we even out that final design by restarting the repeat for one stitch, and that makes our work match at the end of our row to the start of our row. So now we're going to move on to row four. Row four is beginning now. We are working in color B. Row four's repeat, we will be working eight single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets. So let's work that all together. The repeat begins with eight single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and eight. One double crochet. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven. So that ends the repeat. Let's recap. Row number four's repeat began with eight single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with seven single crochets. So you are going to continue to work this exact set of stitches on down your row and meet up with me whenever you're ready for row five. Remember at the end of your row, you will restart your repeat for one stitch and then do a traditional single crochet in the final stitch of the row. Your clue to what goes in the second to last stitch is found over here on the first stitch of the repeat. Row number five begins now and we are working in color A. Row five's repeat is very simple. We're working six double crochets, five single crochets, followed by five double crochets. So we are now going to work or begin the repeat by working six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and we end the repeat with five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's recap our repeat. Row number five's repeat began with six double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with five double crochets. So you will keep working this exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row number six. Row six begins now and we are working in color B. Row number six has another very simple repeat. We are working six single crochets, five double crochets, five single crochets. So we're going to start the repeat for row number six now. And our repeat begins with six single crochets. One. Two. three, four, five, six, five double crochets, One, two, three, four, five.
five single crochets will end the repeat. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's recap what we've done. Row number six repeat began over here with six single crochets, five double crochets, and we end our repeat with five single crochets. So you will continue to work this exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row seven. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A. Row seven's repeat will be three double crochets, 11 single crochets, two double crochets. We're going to work that together now. So our repeat for row number seven begins immediately by working three double crochets. One, two, three, eleven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11. Now we will end the repeat by working two double crochets over these next two stitches. One. And number two. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row number seven's repeat began with three double crochets, 11 single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you are going to continue to work on down your row, meeting up with me when you are ready for row number eight. Row eight begins now and we are working in color B. Row eight's repeat is going to be three single crochets, 11 double crochets, two single crochets. We're now going to begin that repeat together. So we start with three single crochets. One. Two. three, 11 double crochets, one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two single crochets ends our repeat. One and number two. So let's recap what we've done. Row number eight began with three single crochets, 11 double crochets, and we end the repeat with two single crochets. So you will keep working this exact set of stitches on down your row and we'll meet up for row number nine. Row number nine begins now and we are working in color A. Row nine's repeat is two double crochets, 13 single crochets, one double crochet. And we're going to work that repeat together now. So row nine's repeat begins immediately with two double crochets. One. Two. Thirteen single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One double crochet to end the repeat. Now we'll recap what we've done. Row number nine's repeat began with two double crochets, 13 single crochets, one double crochet to end our repeat. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row number 10 whenever you're ready. Row number 10 begins now and we are working in color B. Row number 10's repeat is two single crochets, 13 double crochets, one single crochet. We're going to begin working that together now. So our repeat for row number 10 begins immediately with two single crochets. One. Two, 13 double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, one single crochet ends our repeat. Now we'll recap it. Row number 10's repeat began with two single crochets, 13 double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me when you're ready for row number 11. Row 11 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 11's repeat is super simple. We're working one double crochet, 15 single crochets. So we're going to begin that now. So we work one double here into this very next stitch. Fifteen single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap. Row 11's repeat, one double crochet, 15 single crochets. We'll keep working this exact set and meet up for row 12. Row number 12 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 12's repeat is one single crochet, 15 double crochets. So we're going to begin that now by doing one double crochet right here, the very next stitch. 15 double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
And last but not least, number 15. So that ends our repeat for row 12. So let's recap. Row 12's repeat began with one single crochet, 15 double crochets. So keep repeating that exact set and we'll meet up for row number 13 in just a moment. Row 13 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 13's repeat is one double crochet followed by 15 single crochets. And we're going to work this together now. So row 13's repeat begins with one double crochet. And then we carry on with 15 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So that ends our repeat. We will recap now. Row number 13's repeat began with one double crochet and it ends with thir or 15 single crochets. <laughs> so one double, 15 singles. On down your row and we'll meet up for row number 14 when you're ready. Row 14 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 14's repeat is sort of long. We're doing two single crochets, six double crochets, one single crochet, six double crochets, one single crochet. That's a lot to spit out. So we're gonna work that now together. Our repeat for row 14 begins with two single crochets. One, two, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and number six. One single crochet, and now we will work six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. We end the repeat with one single crochet. Now we'll recap. Row number 14's repeat began with two single crochets, six double crochets, one single crochet, 
six double crochets and we end with one single crochet. So you are going to continue to work this exact set of stitches on down your row and we will meet up for row 15 in just a moment. Row 15 begins now. We are working in color A. Row 15's repeat is worked by starting with two double crochets, six single crochets, one double crochet, six single crochets, and one double. We are now going to work that nice and slow together. So we begin row 15's repeat with two double crochets. One, two, six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six. One double crochet. Six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we end with one double crochet. So let's recap what we have done. Row number 15's repeat began with two double crochets six single crochets, one double crochet, six single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you will continue to work that exact set of stitches and meet up with me for row number 16. Row 16 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 16's repeat Begins with four single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end it with three single crochets. We are now going to work that nice and slow together. So we begin row 16's repeat with four single crochets. One. Two. three, four, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets will end our repeat. One, two, three. 
So let's recap what we've done. Row number 16's repeat began with four single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So continue to work that exact set on down your row and meet up with me for row number 17. Row 17 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 17 is our final row and it repeats four double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and three double crochets. So we are now going to begin to work that repeat together. So we begin the repeat for row 17 with four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, One, two, three. And we end the repeat with three double crochets. One, two, and three. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row number 17's repeat began with four double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you will continue to work this exact set of stitches on down your row, we will meet up one final time to talk about how you can keep repeating the same exact design. From here, you are going to rewind in the same video back to row two, and you will work rows two through 17 as many times as you would like. When you are ending the project, you will end on row 17, and then you can work a row of single crochet followed by slip stitch in the same color, so in color A, same as what we end with. We want to do those final little rows up here to kind of thicken up the top of our work so that it better matches. So that is how you, I recommend anyway that you end your project. As always, I do appreciate you for watching. Please keep in mind there is a version three of the same heart, same size, same multiple available on the channel that was filmed over a year and a half ago now. So it's from the same chart set and you can use these two patterns together in one project if you would like. You can go back to the other video, which is linked down in the description, and you would pick up at the repeat. So again, it would be, you would start here after finishing this design, ending here at row 17. You would then pick up on the video for the outlined heart, version three, at row two, and you would work rows two through 17. And then you could come back to this version, which is version six, the solid heart, and you would join on and start working at rows two through 17. And you could alternate between the two patterns that way. You, of course, can mix other patterns in different multiples. I have videos on that as well. 
And all of that information can be found down there in the description. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please make sure that you are hitting a thumbs up on the videos. The thumbs up is more than enough to help support my work here on YouTube. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really do appreciate you guys for watching. And until next time, bye for now.